Okay, so in this video, we're gonna to put together the skull and pumpkin candle holders. And this video is kind of a combination of the two because structurally, they're pretty much the same. Um, and I will go through the variations when we get to them. But you wanna go ahead and find this piece here. And we're gonna begin by constructing our base. And you wanna go ahead and as usual, as I always do, begin by just folding at the score marks, just to get everything properly trained and in position. And we're gonna construct our very simple base here. Okay. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take these little triangular tabs and glue them to their neighbors so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this with a little bit of glue. And get that glued into place. You can kind of, once you get it somewhat set, you can use your table to help with the alignment. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and get the other side of this glued. And just press and hold that between your fingers until it's nice and set. Okay. And then you can go ahead and take these little triangular tabs here. There's one here. Gonna get that glued into place, like so. And just hold that in place. Just make sure everything's nice and aligned. Okay. And then once that's set, we've got one last tab here. Go ahead and put a little bit of glue right on this tab here. Spread it out nicely. And you can kind of stick your finger in there and push and hold that in place. Make sure it's nice and aligned. And just hold that until it's dry. So we've got the, the basic structure of the base here almost complete. And then we can go ahead and put glue on these tabs here. I like to kind of maybe get a thin line towards the edge of the piece here just to get nice clean seams. And I kind of went a little crazy there and that happens. Okay. Nice thin little line at the edge there. And then go ahead and pop these out a little bit so that as you push down, it grabs more surface area Okay. And we're actually gonna put a liner piece or actually a panel piece on top of this. So if you do kind of make a little bit of a mess, it's okay, you've got a backup here. Okay, so we've got this piece on. And again, this is the same process for the pumpkin or for the skull. And then this piece here is gonna go right on top. It's just a little decorative panel and also kind of sturdies it up a little bit so go ahead and place your glue on this piece and today i'm using a fine tip applicator in some of the previous videos that i did i was just using the scotch quick dry bottle because these things kind of if you don't take care of them they clog up and then they become a pain in the butt so if you are if you have your life together and you can maintain and keep your equipment clean, then it's a really handy little piece to have. Um, but if you're like me and you're putting out 400 fires a day, the last thing you want to worry about is keeping your little bottle, um, you know, clean. So the base again is the same for the pumpkin and each of the pieces, the pumpkin and the skull has this little piece. And what this is, is a little container where your tea light's gonna go in 
and it also kind of helps keep the actual candle holder portion that goes on top of the base in place. So all I'm doing is I'm taking these and just gluing them to their neighbors, making sure that everything is nice and lined up on the corners. I did bend the um, pieces at the tabs just to kind of get them trained and, and going in the right direction. So we're just going to glue this to its neighbor. Just try to be as, try to do it as cleanly as possible. Okay, and we're going to take and just continue this process a few more times until we've got a little box formed here. And it's an open box. It's like a little container, I guess. And to get this last piece glued down. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take this piece and glue it to the base. We're going to try to center it uh, as best as we can. And it's going to go like so. So just kind of eyeball it. I'm going to put glue on the bottom of this thing. Okay. And just kind of maybe get over like an eagle's eye view and do your best to get that nice and centered. Just kind of push down in the center there. Okay, that's where your, that's where your bottom tea light's going to go. Okay, and did a pretty good job there. So the next thing that we're going to do is put together the actual structure. And this is where um, in this video there's a little bit of variation between the pumpkin and the jack-o'-lantern. Not so much in the assembly, but more in um, just how the pieces look. So let me just show you the differences here. Um, as you can see, these pieces are pretty much identical, okay, as far as this pattern goes. The only difference here is this is a pumpkin face and this is a skeleton face. So it doesn't matter, um, just follow along with the actual assembly for this thing and everything else will kind of fall into place. Now one thing we do want to do while this is flat is we want to, you want to glue your vellum into place, okay? And one thing that I notice is it kind of helps to fold at the score marks here, just so that it kind of starts to cast a little bit of a shadow to help you separate each segment so you know exactly where to place your vellum. See, now you can see that it's a lot easier to tell where to put that vellum. So you just want to get that glued to the inside. I'm not actually going to go through that process because it's pretty straightforward. Um, maybe I'll just do one real quick here. And most importantly, you want to make sure that you kind of get glue around the little cutout areas so that the vellum really sticks in those areas. Okay. And then of course you want one that goes all the way around where the vellum is going to be. Okay. So I kind of, kind of did that a little bit quick, but you get the idea so that you know where it all goes and you're going to want to place the vellum on all four on the inside, of course. So make sure you've got your texture side out. If you're using AC cardstock and glue the vellum to the inside, you want to do that first. And then while it's still flat, you may want to just get your panels glued on. Okay. These side panels, you don't want to put this on just yet, but you can go ahead and glue on your side panels here. Okay. So that process is, th this panel is the same exact panel for the pumpkin one too. So you can get that glued on. So again, vellum on all four and panels on the two sides. Okay. So that's pretty much it for that. And we can go ahead and put this thing together and it's actually very simple. Uh, it's just kind of like a cone shape. Okay. And we're just going to combine these two. I'm going to get this bent and ready just so that I don't have to struggle with it later. Okay. And I'm just going to lay this out flat for now, just because it's a lot easier to work with when it's flat. 
And I'm going to apply my glue to this tab here. And kind of get a little bit out to the edge so that it's nice and seamless, or at least appears to be seamless when we glue it all together. Okay, so just follow the natural curve or the natural angle, I should say, not curve, of this piece and get that glued into place. Okay, and then once that's got a hold, you can actually take this, I'm going to tuck this tab under because technically when you glue this, it should be nice and even as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on this tab here. And again, this process applies to the pumpkin one. Everything up to this point is pretty much identical. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tuck this under and just get that nice and aligned. I love working with flat pieces like this and then they just magically pop up and become dimensional. Okay, so that looks good. Hopefully you got enough glue on this thing. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so all that's really left for this piece is to put the top on. Okay, it's going to go together pretty quick. Once you get everything cut out, you're probably going to spend more time cutting than you are assembling, I think. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and find our little square here, which I have here. And I'm just going to put glue on these four tabs here. And we're going to put our square on here. And I actually... I didn't put enough glue on this piece here, but that's okay. You will. And we're just going to put our little square on top here. And you may have to kind of jimmy it around a little bit just to make sure that you've got everything nice and aligned. And even if, if this isn't perfect, it's okay because it's going to be hidden by um, the little top piece that holds the actual candle. So. That kind of gives us a little bit of reinforcement, a little added strength. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so now here is where it gets a little bit different, but barely. Okay, and this is the actual, you know, design element portion of the candle holder. And I'm just going to show you the layering. It's pretty straightforward and self-explanatory, but I'll just go through it real quick. Okay, so this is your main piece here. You've got this beautiful little scroll that you're going to glue down first and you're going to glue that and make sure that you've got a nice even border going all the way around this piece. Same goes for our skeleton. Okay. And then, and actually let me remove this here so that you guys can see the layering. Okay. So, so far it's identical. And then you're going to take this piece here and get that glued into place making sure that you've got a nice even border all the way around here. Okay. And the process is exactly the same with our skull. Okay. And then you've got the pumpkin head and we did that in an orange glitter, which looked really cool. And then you've got his little stem and then there's this black piece here. And for our skeleton, it is just the skull. Make sure that you match up the broken fractured parts of his skull. And then you've got these decorative scroll elements that kind of just go into the corner. Now you're going to do this twice because you have one of these on the front and back of your candle holder. Okay. So that's how you do one of them. You're going to do it twice. Okay. And at this point, once you have it all glued down, let me get rid of this real quick. Once you have it all glued down, you're going to take and adhere it to the side here. And I'm just going to remove these pieces just to make it easier for me to work with this piece. Everything's going to be glued to this piece here. And then you can just go ahead using the facial features uh, on this guy as well as the cutouts 
here, you can see exactly where it needs to be glued. Okay, so just get that glued down on both sides and you've got the lantern portion of your piece completed, okay? And then all that's really left to do then is to create the little top piece that holds the actual, you know, um, candle, the top candle in place, okay? So this process is exactly the same for the pumpkin or the skeleton, okay? Now you've got these little tiny little pieces here. Let me see if I can get you some contrast there. See that little piece there? That does fold in like that. Okay, so just make sure that you get everything nice and folded. Okay, fold these pieces in like so. And all we're gonna do is we are going to take glue and put it on this entire piece. I'm going to actually move this out so you can see what I mean. Okay, so you see how you put glue on that entire piece and then you just glue it to its neighbor so it's nice and seamless and flush. Okay, so you see what I did there? I glued it right on the back of this. Okay, and you're gonna repeat that process three more times until you've created yourself a little base. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I have just two more to do. And then we've actually created um, two little reinforcement pieces that are just going to get glued to the bottom and that's going to thicken it up a little bit, make it a little bit more sturdy to handle whatever little weight the candle adds. It's not really significant, but we just want our products to last as long as possible. We realize it's paper and it, you know, it doesn't have to have a limited shelf life, but you know, paper is a little more sensitive. So then you've got these two liners. You can just put glue down. Okay, that's actually the bottom. So that's what we want to do. We want to glue it to the bottom and move our little doily out of the way. And then you can glue this other one in here too. Okay. And then we've got this little decorative piece. It's got these little um, decorative corners punched out. You want to go ahead and glue that into place. And then all that's left is our little circle with the, uh, the little scallops on here. And I'm going to go ahead and fold all of these triangles over. Okay. And I'm going to just flatten it out again. And what I want to do is I'm going to take these two pieces, hold them between my two fingers here and just run it along the edge of my desk just to kind of help it start to curve naturally. I'm gonna do that one more time just to make it curve even more. And that's gonna help us, it's gonna help prevent us creasing this thing. We don't wanna crease it. Okay, so this, um, this piece here, what we're gonna do is we are going to put glue on one of these little scallops and grab that other one and glue it on top of it so that the hole matches up. I want that hole to be perfect. Okay, and make sure that the score lines are nice and lined up too. And just hold that till it dries. You've got yourself a perfect little circle. Okay, and then we're gonna take our teeth, and fold them in. Okay, and we've got our little, we got two pieces here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put glue on these little tabs inside here. We've got one of the pieces has an L for liner. Okay, and I'm gonna take that piece and use that first. I'm just gonna pop it right in there. And just make sure that it gets a good hold. Okay, and once your liner is in there, you wanna go ahead and flip it over and just close it off using the piece without the L on it. Okay, just to kinda of seal that off at the bottom. 
Okay, and you may have to just kind of run your finger along the edge, make sure it's nice and flush. Now technically, you're not really gonna see that because what we're gonna do is take and glue this to the top of this. Now this is gonna be glued down on yours, okay? And you're just gonna center that as best as you can. Okay, so you've got this little contraption here. And finally, all you're gonna do is take and put glue on the bottom of this and just glue it to the top of the actual pillar candle holder, okay? So that is pretty much it. Now let me show you what the final version looks like on top. Okay, you see how got that nice and glued on there. So that's pretty much it. Um, we used a green vellum on ours here. And if you don't have green vellum, if you have standard vellum, if you go to our website under the free printable section, I have some colors that you can open up and you can run your vellum through your printer to add color. So if you wanna do it in green, you can. Um, and as you can see here, we've got some white glitter um, and it's pretty much it. And again, you know, we designed this um, to fit this really cool um, LED that changes colors. So that fits in there. And then for the top of it, we've got these cool Luminera candles that just kind of look real because they kind of flicker. I mean, during the day it's obvious, but at night you can't really tell. They're really cool. So that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the project and I'll see you next time. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.